Welcome to another Chef Knives to Go quick look product review. I am Steve Gamash and what we have this time is the Fuji Cutlery FA70 Chinese Cleaver. So this knife is uh, mono steel, so it's one hunk of steel that's cut and then ground to shape. Uh, the heat treat should be in the 58-59 Rockwell range. Again, mono steel construction. Weight and dimensions should be pretty similar from knife to knife. This particular one is 311 grams or 11 ounces. The edge length is right about 176 or six, almost 7 inches on the cutting edge itself. Overall length with this handle is about 11.3 uh, inches. And um, this is not a super skinny like some of the CCK thin cleavers. It's got some stiffness to it and some mass to it. You know, it weighs 11 ounces, so it's got some heft to it. Spine thickness, I got about 2.5 to 2.6 all the way down. So again, quite stiff. Blade height uh, in the back half it's about 83 at the heel and then halfway down you can see it gets taller and then shorter so about halfway down it's about 88 millimeters at the highest point you can see it's got a fairly curvy edge profile handle type we'll just call it wood <laughs> pretty straightforward there uh, let's get our beauty shot so this is the left side of the blade you can see the finish marks go horizontal which is nice when you clean a knife um, and then you dry it, usually you're going back and forth this way, so any kind of scratches you put on the surface will kind of blend into that finish, so that's nice to have that lengthwise type uh, finish on it versus vertical. Here's the left side of the blade. You can see a, kind of a sandblasted gray finish to the grind. It comes down. Really the grind starts, if you look at it here, I can kind of get the picture to you. The grind really doesn't kick in until right in here. So about right there is where it thins out. You can feel that. So it doesn't start thinning out there. It starts thinning out in this area. Um, fit and finish wise, it's pretty nicely done. Uh, the choil, the spine here is a little, it's pretty sharp on the corners. The, the choil is fairly sharp. So that might need to be cleaned up depending on your preference. Uh, other than that, it's straight. It seems pretty well made. Out of the box edge, I give it 5 out of 10. Again, it's stiff. Beefy knife. Uh, let's see. Balance point. Cleavers, it's going to be way up here. You know, cleavers, I'm not an expert on these, but you can you can hold these a lot of different ways. Some people do them like this or choke up for certain activities, or there, there's just a lot of ways you can hold a cleaver and do different things with it. You can do detail work if you want to. Um, I think that's about it. Let's look at the cutting board profile. As you can see, it's fairly curvy. There we go. So here's what it looks like on the cutting board. And you can see, again, it's a fairly curvy for a cleaver. It's a lot of them are a little flatter than this, but that's what it looks like. Camera's having a little trouble with that gray section there on the focus. But fairly curvy. Um, so, you know, it depends on your preference. If you like curvy, you like to do a little rocking, you could do that with this low rocking or push-pull cuts, glide cuts. If you like pure chopper, this might not be flat enough for you, so it just kind of depends on your preference. But easy use knife, you want to kind of check out the Chinese cleaver type of knife, and you want something that's got a little more thickness and stoutness to it, a little heft to it, this might be a good candidate for you. So this is the Fuji Cutlery FA70 Chinese Cleaver.